What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and it's time for Yoshimitsu vs. Raiden episode commentary. Uh, okay. Sorry, I had to click on a thingy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Had to turn it down so I could hear myself talk. It's hard for me to talk when there's blasting through the fire and flames in my ear. <laughs> um, anyways, this universe's episode was a blur. I do not remember the production of it. I do not remember uploading it. I do not remember watching it. <laughs> it just sort of happened. I was in a little universe's groove, just pumping out episodes. Um, but next up, we have Poe versus Baymax. And then after that, a pretty big fight. I'm not going to spoil it right now. Um, but it's been done by quite a number of versus debaters. Um, it's a pretty important fight, but I want to put my own spin on it and give my own personal insight of it just to see how it stacks up against others. Because no, these they, these debaters can't get a solid answer. I want to see what my solid answer is. Because one user will say this guy wins, the other one will say this guy wins, and blah blah blah. It's just this whole crazy thing. So I won't spoil it for now because it's an it's a pretty big fight, but I won't make a big deal out of it. It's just whatever. Um, it's just a, just another episode. Um, but anyways, I might be taking a teeny tiny break from universes soon. Not a large break, just a tiny break to sort of come up with more matchups because. Um, I still have a lot of matchup ideas, but none that I'm like fully researched for, so I need to come up with some quick ones real quick. I'm just going to take a tiny break to research, come up with more ideas and all that. Because mostly right now I haven't been able to come up with very many matchup ideas because I've just been too busy researching, editing, making episodes and all that. But if I take some time to go think of some matchups, I can probably come up with some really good ideas. I came up with a super good idea involving Banjo and Kazooie. And no, if you're asking, it's not Yuka and Laylee. Good grief. Uh, I do not think that's a good idea. It's, the game's not even out yet. We don't know anything about them. Whatever. It'll just be indie hype when it comes out. It'll be like, oh, it's a new game. They'll win because we're hyped and it's a new game. Yada, yada, yada. And all that. So, no, it's not Yuka Laylee. Um, but anyways, back to the episode we're talking about, Yoshimitsu vs. Raiden. Um, it was pretty crazy. Um, I could not find any sort of justification to scale um, Yoshimitsu to the rest of the verse because he doesn't fight a jack robot. And Lars has fought a jack robot, and in Tekken 6's scenario campaign, Lars fights almost just about every single other character. Meaning all of them can scale the jack robots if they can fight Lars, but Yoshimitsu was a bonus stage, meaning he never fought Lars. So Yoshimitsu never fought a jack robot or Lars, so it's impossible for him to scale up to the insane stats of the rest of the verse. It's crazy. He's like probably the only character that can't do that, and it's, it's sad. Poor Yoshimitsu. He's, he's one of the weakest characters in the Tekken verse, despite being so popular. And Raiden is super cool also. I love the Metal Gear games. Raiden was not one of my favorite characters at first because I was one of those, oh, why can't we play a snake, guys, in Metal Gear Solid 2? But I grew to love him in Metal Gear Solid 4 and Rising and Revengeance and all that. Ah, uh, something's in my eye! Ah! But yeah, I was one of those guys who didn't like Raiden until he was a cool ninja cyborg. Go ahead, Raiden fangirls, hate me all you want. He was, he was only cool as a cyborg. <laughs> uh, but I like Raiden, he's cool. Um, the soundtracks to the games are really good. I hadn't even noticed how good they were until I was actually um, looking for music for this episode. I, can't, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a mix between Tekken soundtrack, but also Bayonetta's. Like, it uses a lot of the instruments that Tekken uses. Like, there's techno, but also rock and all that stuff, but it's sort of like in this rhythm and melody of Bayonetta music, and it also has singing so in the soundtrack, so I guess that's also more like Bayonetta. It's just like this cool fusion of both of them, and I like it a lot. Uh, hang on. Hang on. You're trying to unstuck. Eh. I had a hangnail. Yeah, I, I'm pretty gross. I usually have burping problems when I'm recording commentaries. I have itchy butt problems when I'm recording commentaries. I have hangnail problems when I'm recording commentaries. Sometimes I cough up loogies while recording commentaries. I'm a pretty disgusting individual, aren't I? Well, excuse me for having allergies that give me loogies or IBS that gives me stomach issues or 
burping problems or itchy butt problems or whatever. Uh, women, please love me. I would like a girlfriend, please. Mmm, <laughs> girlfriends are expensive. I had to learn that the hard way. So, I'd rather wait until... I mean, it'd be nice to have a girlfriend now, but I wouldn't... Why am I talking about girlfriends? I'm talking about universes. You can't talk about fictional characters fighting and then girls in the same video. What? That Those things go together like peanut butter and ketchup. They, they don't. They don't. These episode commentaries have devolved from me actually talking about the episode to me just rambling about random stuff. But yeah, I think I need to get out of my universe's groove because now I'm just sort of like chugging out episodes like nothing. And I want to, I want to put more into them, like, because these recent episodes, the outcome has been pretty obvious. Like, it's obvious for you, curb stomps knuckles. It's obvious. Um, uh, Raiden beats Yoshimitsu. It's obvious. Pops beats Kirby. It's obvious. Tatsumaki beats um, Ermac. They've all just grown very, very obvious and sort of not involving any real effort. Like you just go in knowing who's going to win. So I want to get more matchups where I have to dig in deeper. And Poe versus Baymax, it's surprisingly close. If you include the comics, it, it is surprisingly close. So I'm, I like this episode so far. It's a pretty fresh start. I'm going to have to like try and figure out and think about who wins this one. Um, so I'll get right on that and see you guys later. Leopold the Brave, out. <laughs>